you put a capacitor in there, now this is the same way we use a, we'll show you a picture, we use a gold-coated egg, which is a capacitor, it's a condenser, it condenses charge, just like a pine cone is a capacitor. If you put an electric field sensor, a capacitor, in the center of the Great Pyramid, what you measure there is what's called harmonic inclusiveness. The fact that more and more different waves of charge are able to converge non-destructively in one place. And where charge waves can agree, fractal compression is permitted, biology gets happy. Now it's not complicated. We need to understand that in strict scientific medical terms. And that's where we use the, the medical literature. It turns out that in the studies on your heart, which is the strongest source of voltage and charge in your body, that the more harmonics, the more wavelengths that are in your heart, it's called heart rate variability, the more you resist almost all disease. So literally you can predict the vitality, how long you're going to live, by simply checking your heart. If there's one frequency there only, you're toast, man, you're dead, all disease is coming, you might as well write your will, man, you're going to die. Whereas, if you check your heart and you find harmonic inclusiveness there, you know that statistically all chronic disease is going to disappear. It's the work of Dr. Irving Dardick, MD, former chairman of the Olympic Medical Committee, the famous recent best-selling book, Making Waves. It was originally published in Cycles Magazine. He calls it super looping or perfect nesting. Lovely things. It essentially means the healthy heart is a fractal heart, except now we define that as the heart that can attract the most number of different frequencies at once. Perfect compression, perfect compassion, Pretty romantic, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it is, except that the current state of architecture that you pointed out is not exactly in line with these principles. So maybe you could give an example of what's happening in buildings and structures that are built on proportions other than golden mean ratio. Yeah, you see, are we saying that architects don't have heart? Oh, that might be a bit insulting. <laughs> what we are saying is we haven't understood what is at the heart of architecture until we understand what is at the heart of the electric field that can serve all of biology. So let's take another example. In the orgone literature, and we now know that the word orgone means recursive, self-similar capacitance. So non-destructive charge compression. So in the orgone literature, it's very common. You take these germinating seeds and you measure the weight. And if you use what they call an orgone accumulator, you will have 30% increase in the weight of those seeds just germinated if they're in a recursive capacitor. And if not, oops, sorry, they don't grow so good. And that experiment is replicable. And that needs to be the beginning of your biophysics department in your university. Hello, where's the biophysics department when you need them? They don't know what life is. Oops. So they need to explain why it is that that electric field triggered those seeds to germinate. Then, in my view, they would be ready to invent architecture. To tect an arc means to build an arch. How do you build an arch? You have to build the angle of charge curvature which creates self-similarity. It's called non-destructive self-reentry for charge. Golden ratio. In physics, it's called the golden mean spiral. is called optimized translation of vorticity. The best way for a line to become a circle, or vice versa, which is the best way for energy to become mass, and vice versa, which is simply non-destructive compression of charge. Defining creation, defining life itself, in terms of how information gets into one place, the bios of the logos. So now, did I ignore your question? Yes, I ignored your question. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> what you asked was, what is the effect on architecture when they build buildings without the right proportion? And the effects on those in them. Yes, and the effects on those in them. What I'm saying is, yes, the right proportions are important, but we must define the reason why you need the right proportions before you can start building. The right proportions are only important to the extent that they create the right electric field. It's the electric field that determines whether people are having bliss, whether seeds are germinating, whether people are getting an immune system. It's the famous story in that it was called Banking on Nature, the article by Henry McLean about the famous bank in Netherlands. We'll show some pictures. And they showed that 
The employee absentee rate in this bank went